Hello and welcome back to VNI Nation. This is another episode of Scattered Thoughts, the show where we talk about various topics and ideas, and each one connects to the previous one in some way. Now, last time Alex talked about spies in the real world, and when I think about spies, I tend to think about gadgets. And, you know, gadgets like the you know they the cool uh things that they use they have like uh little little tools and whatnot gadgets are fun and interesting because they help advance the plot along like at the start you might not know what use this particular gadget may have even though it's like it looks cool or has like an interesting function but it Eventually, throughout the story, it helps uh, solve a certain conflict that they come across. They have just the right tool for the job. That's why gadgets are amazing, and I love them, right? Now, I believe that gadgets are more broad. Like, there's a lot, there's a large range of gadgets when it comes to movies and TV shows, because anything could be a gadget, right? As long as it serves that same role in the show or movie that a gadget would serve as a sort of unique tool or, you know, power or something that might not exactly have a good purpose, you know, at the moment, but it serves it's the exact tool that you need to solve a certain conflict right the main character uses these gadgets to resolve conflicts in uh somewhat you know unexpected ways you so let's i'm gonna move you know on here try to get to the point there are a lot of shows and movies that do not do gadgets right like when done properly gadgets are amazing and it really helps tell a good story but when gadgets are not used properly it it can be very frustrating like extremely frustrating when it comes to shows that do gadgets really well like i imagine Power Rangers, right? You know, I grew up with Power Rangers. A lot of people can relate to Power Rangers. It's a good example, right? So there's this new, there's this new bad guy out there. He's a lot stronger than something that they faced before, and they, they just don't have the ability to beat him at that specific moment in time. But luckily, their lab technician, their you know super smart like guy who creates all of their weapons and technology for them he's like hey i just developed this new um advancement like this new weapon that you guys can use and it's perfect for the situation that you're in oh wow that's amazing thanks and you know and then they use that and then they solve the conflict they resolve the conflict and they move on and it, it really works, right? It's a staple of their format of that show, and it just works. Now, one show that I watched very recently that is a good example of gadgets done wrong or incorrectly is Lock and Key. It's a new show on Netflix. It has all these uh, wonderful keys that have, like, magical powers, right? And, you know, for the most part, they're very each one is very unique and you would assume that each one would serve a very specific purpose in the story and not just be the you know of like not just be like a basic uh i don't know like a uh, like a golden egg right you know the the bad guy wants the golden egg and that's the whole like plot of that's the whole plot of lock and key basically um but they could have been used very well 
I assumed, that, you know, rightfully so, that, you know, these keys would serve as gadgets, right? Each one would serve a very specific purpose and would the main characters would use them to resolve conflicts in the story. But they don't do that at all. There's this one scene where, you know, this guy like breaks into their home and they have the exact key that they need. They have all the tools in their possession, right? At this point, they have like four or five keys and they have one specifically that would solve all of their problems right then and there, but they do not use it at all. It, it, It isn't even mentioned once in that episode that about that key like at all they don't bring it up it would have sought resolved the conflict 100 percent and we see the key in the episode too it's not like they didn't have it they definitely had it they had the key that they need they had it they had the exact gadget that would have resolved that situation that conflict but they didn't use it and that is unbelievably frustrating for me Like, I cannot stand when good gadgets go to waste. Now, on the movie side of things, a movie that I saw that did gadgets really well is probably Birds of Prey. Now, there's not a whole lot of gadget-like things, you know? There's no, um, you know, spy watches that, you know, can shoot, like, uh arrows or something i don't know like but there's there's not like typical gadget type things or but there are certain elements certain items that take the role of a gadget in the movie and if you pay attention you can really see it like uh in the um in the evidence room harley quinn finds this wonderfully placed bat right super conveniently placed bat which she uses to just beat up all of these guys you know she takes it you know throws it against the ground it bounces off the ground into a guy's face like yeah that was a very conveniently located gadget that she just happened to use and was perfect for the situation that she was in you know so that is a a movie that is a good example of a gadget done properly now a movie that does gadgets wrong is black panther now we've talked about black panther in the past but that is this is one of the reasons why i just cannot stand black panther because we we show that they they have this one scene where we walk into this you know lab right and his sister you know shows off all of these you know all this wonderful technology all these amazing gadgets but we don't see them at all for the rest of the movie you know the main character does not utilize these gadgets to resolve conflicts and that's the purpose of a gadget it is supposed to be the exact tool that you need for at that specific point in time right but we don't see these things used at all right the only thing he uses is the suit like the the new suit or whatever but it's not like the suit had any like special properties or any, you know it wasn't unique in any way it just ha- now has the ability to you know spawn from this necklace oh whoa amazing right but for you know all this other stuff in the lab we don't get to see him you know use this stuff at all and that is unbelievably frustrating you know i hate that I, you know, I can't stand Black Panther for a number of other reasons, but on the topic of gadgets, that is one of the reasons. Improper use of gadgets. Ugh. I'm telling you guys, like, it does not take a lot to to satisfy me as a, you know, a movie goer, a, you know, you know, a TV show, like a show watcher, watcher of shows. You know, I am easily satisfied. It, the bare minimum satisfies me in most cases, right? But when you just do things blatantly wrong, it is unbelievably frustrating. And gadgets is just one of those things that 
it doesn't take a whole lot to like make it work but if you just ignore it completely it's unbelievably frustrating all right so those are just my thoughts on gadgets let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below like this video if you like it and subscribe to our channel because you know we're still doing that thing you know we're still doing that giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers the 100th subscriber will re be receiving one piece of vni nation merch and whoever has commented the most when we get our 100th subscriber will receive one vni nation hoodie so do your part you know share this video with your friends you know spread the word comment in the comment section down below and hit that notification bell because you are likely to be missing videos with all of the content that we've been pushing out recently so if you're not if you're not hitting that notification bell you're gonna miss something you know that's just it's just the way it is that's the you know universe that we live in now it's terrible but it's just what it is <sighs> anyway this has been vni nation thank you and goodbye